Hi Susan. I am confused and I need some help to score my Likert test. Okay, Hank, I think I can help. The first thing, however, is that a Likert test is a type of test. You should really call your test by a name. Perhaps something like Hank's graduate student anxiety scale. Oh, I get it. The name should help to describe the test and it can be used to help identify the fact that I made the test. Exactly. Next, each item is given a score. So on a four-point scale, strongly agree is worth four points. Agree is worth three points. Disagree is worth two points and strongly disagree is worth one point. Okay, so what about if I have a four-item test? How would I score it? Well, if a person answered each item with strongly agree, what would the maximum score be? MMM, let's see. Four items, strongly agree equals four points. The total score would be 60. Right. And what if the person answered strongly agree two times and disagree two times? Two strongly agree at four points each equals eight plus two disagree at two points each equals four points for a total score of 12 points. Perfect. So you are going to take the total point value for each person based on their answers and come up with a numerical point value. Then we will look at the first test that is usually called a pretest and compare the change to the second or the post test. That is the change. So, if a person gets 8 points on the pretest and 10 points on the post test, that is a change score of plus 2. Right again. How about if they have 10 points on the pretest and 8 points on the post test? What is the change score? 10 points minus 8 points. Hmm, the change score would be minus 2. Right again. So, what we are going to do is score our tests. Each person gets a pretest score and a post-test score and a change score. Those numbers are what we are going to use to do our statistical analysis. See, scoring a Likert scale is not that hard. Wow. I couldn't wait to go back to the classroom to score my Likert scale. Whoops. I mean, Hank's graduate student anxiety scale. Thanks, Susan. Glad to do it, Hank. One more thing. It probably makes sense to save your data using a spreadsheet. That will make it much easier when we do our analysis later. Okay, Sue. I have to go. Spreadsheet is awaiting. Bye. I am going to go and post another online session. Bye, Hank.